Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel or if you're new here then welcome. You can probably see from the title of this video that this is part two of my spring sheen try on haul. If you've not yet seen part one then I would recommend going back and watching part one first. But it's a similar kind of vibe, we're continuing with the basics, the neutrals and just general pieces to make you look put together, make you look expensive, make you look classy. As always I'm going to show some try on clips to the side of this video you'll see some handbags and some shoes that I've paired with the outfits they're also from Sheen and I've shown them in like more detail in part one and for reference if you're new here I'm five foot eight I'm a UK 10 on top and a UK 12 on bottom and just a heads up we have even more cowards and even more dresses so I do hope you enjoy part two I also just want to quickly mention I forgot to mention in part one that all of the jewelry that I'm currently wearing is also from Sheen so I have this ring, this bangle and my cuff, these earrings and also this necklace, they're all from Sheen. Let me know if you would like me to do a dedicated video to like jewellery and accessories from Sheen because I actually get a lot of my accessories from Sheen. First up, I want to show you this trouser top coord. I love the detail on the bottom of this top. It has a slit down one side with a few buttons. I really like how much stretch there is to this coord. It just means that it fits so well. I picked this up in a medium. I'm pretty sure that I picked up all of my coords in a medium and the thing with the coords from Sheen is you buy them together so you have to get a medium or you have to get the same size in both pieces which to be fair when it's this stretchy it's not a problem. Hopefully you can see in the try on clip the trousers are quite fitted and they do have a little bit of a flare to the bottom. I was saying in my last video in part one that all of the trousers in the cowards that I've picked up are that kind of like length where they're not actually touching the floor I don't know if that's just because I'm a little bit taller I am five foot eight but I kind of like that you can see my feet and I don't usually say that I always go for like wide leg oversized trousers where they're so baggy and they're pretty much like cleaning the streets when I'm walking but I don't know more recently I kind of like it when they're intentionally shorter and then you can wear like a really nice strappy sandal and you can appreciate like the detail i don't know if that makes sense but hopefully you can see from the try and clip what i mean as always with sheen this comes in so many different colors but i've definitely gone for more of like a beige neutral kind of theme for spring this year and i can see myself wearing this coord with loads of different shades of like the brown neutral kind of tones silver and gold jewelry and yeah i just feel like it's perfect for layering i also wanted to show you this coord now i'm actually kind of proud that this is the only black piece that i've actually picked up from this haul. In fact, no, that's a lie. I've just looked and I do have one other black piece, but I do think that this coward only came in black, so I had no choice. But I have been loving this like smarter linen style kind of coward. I did actually post a TikTok the other day on spring 2024 fashion trends, and I think that the black linen coards is definitely like up there. Also, just a side note on that, I realised that I never actually mentioned a few weeks ago I deleted my Instagram account and I've fully moved over to TikTok. I never actually thought that I would be a TikTok girl. I've always loved Instagram. I've had Instagram for years but I just feel like recently I wasn't really enjoying it either to create content or to actually use it and kind of like be inspired and influenced. I just don't really feel like my experience was that positive with Instagram whereas TikTok I actually feel like I get a lot of inspiration from TikTok and I actually post so regular on TikTok because I find it so much easier to use. So yeah just a side note if you did want to follow me on any other platforms for like outfit inspiration that kind of thing I will leave my TikTok down below. You'll probably be able to see on the try and clip that this coward actually doesn't fit me but I didn't want to let that stop me from showing you guys this coward because I actually think it's so cute but I just think the trousers were a little bit too short and I think that's probably because I am five for eight and it's maybe designed for more petite girls but I still wanted to show you it because I think it's so cute so again the top is this bandeau style it also has a little asymmetrical like dip on one side one thing that I really like about this top as well is the back it's this stretchy kind of crochet material and I just think it gives more of like a daytime casual vibe to what would be like quite a smart all black outfit again the trousers are quite smart they're more of a tailored vibe compared to to the other ones that I've showed you that I've got a little bit more elastic in them. I'd say the trousers are a straight leg but yeah unfortunately
personally they were a little bit too short for me but i would pair these with the shoes that i showed in part one i'm just going to show you real quick because i've literally just filmed part one so i have everything out anyway so these are the shoes that i would pair with that cohort they're just kind of like a slip on pointy toe mule they're this faux suede and they have this really nice like oriental detail next i picked up this gorgeous ruched coward this is hands down one of my favorite purchases from sheen it's in this gorgeous like top color again it's so soft so stretchy it really gives skims vibes and it comes with the matching maxi skirt i really like that this has ruches down the length of the whole skirt so literally from the top to the bottom on both sides it just makes the skirt so flattering i feel like it really accentuates that hourglass shape and the top is also really simple it has a little bit of detailing on the neck and then it has like a little ruched bit just underneath your boobs again it just has such a flattering effect i think in the try on clip i paired this with some heels but i would also wear this cohort during the day i'm thinking with some strappy heels like an oversized clutch and then maybe like an oversized shirt or like a denim jacket thrown over the top i think would look so cute with this color this is one of my favorites that i've picked up like i don't really know what else to say it's so flattering it just feels so nice on last but not least i wanted to show you this dress and i appreciate it's not really the spring vibe that we're going for it probably couldn't be any further given that it's black it's faux leather it's not really giving spring but i just couldn't not with this dress like in all honesty i've been looking for a dress like this for so long and i've never found one that fits as well as this one does so this is is the dress that i'm talking about i'm hoping you can see how well it fits in the try on clip but i think the reason that it does fit so well is because it has this seam going across the waist it also has little hooks for a belt i probably wouldn't wear a belt but i think it's quite nice just to have that detailing around the waist just to break the dress up a bit it also has two pockets as well and then it also has quite a large slit around the back in the middle like that comes up quite high to be fair also on the top it has a little bit of a fold over which i just think details like that make it look so much more expensive than it is i'm just so impressed with the way that it fits and the structure of this dress it also has those like sticky like pads around the top as well which means that it just holds it in place perfectly if i remember correctly this dress also comes in a really nice like deep cherry red which i feel like would be so nice for date night and again moving more into the spring like away from the black but i just could not leave this dress and that is the end of my sheen try on haul part two i really hope you did enjoy this video i hope maybe you got a little bit of inspiration i do hope that the sheen try on hauls are actually quite helpful i know i actually do watch quite a lot of them because i appreciate there's just so many things on sheen and it's so overwhelming so yeah as always i'll leave all of the product codes in the description below any questions on any of the pieces then please do feel free to drop a comment below as always thank you so so much for watching this video and i hope to see you in my next video